Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate ClickUp with Notion. First of all, we have to create uh, an account in uh, ClickUp.com. Once we do that, we want to move to the bottom left corner of our screen uh, when we open like, ClickUp in our browser and uh, there's our workspace. Now. We click on the workplace, which is on, as I said, bottom left corner, and we want to go to integrations. Now, uh, there's a couple of uh, pre-made integrations that we already created, or uh, I'm sorry, that ClickUp created for us. But uh, as you can see, there is no notion. Uh, what we can do, though, is we want to go to zapier.com. At zapier.com, you can create your uh, account as well and uh, we have to or we can make these integrations by ourselves we want to go to the top left corner of zapier and we want to make a zap once we do that it will redirect us and we can name our zap from like click up to notion like this now uh, we can just add uh, the first app that it's going to be used and in our case it's obviously it's obviously ClickUp. We want to use the search engine and we want to go to ClickUp. How we are going to set up this integration though? We want to find ourselves a trigger event. So what will have to happen on in ClickUp to actually trigger something in uh, Notion. Let's say create a new task. We want to go to create a new task and we want to choose an account. Uh, let's choose the account we already created. We press continue and now we just setting up the trigger. You can go custom or you can just go with your workspace. You can fill in all those blanks or you just can go to continue and you can test your trigger if uh, it's correct, uh, if it's set up correctly. Now, uh, when you've done that, you want to go to the second one and that's where we put Notion. We use Notion and uh, same as uh, ClickUp, what will have to happen in a ClickUp, which is a new task, and the outcome will be create the database or update the database item or find the database item. Let's say update the database item. So if it uh, trigger a new task, it will just update the database in Notion. That's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.